Prime Minister Narendra Modi is chairing a meeting of the Union Council of Ministers at the Sushma Swaraj Bhavan in the national capital. It's the last such exercise during the second term of his government and the last meeting ahead of the implementation of the Model Code of Conduct. The Prime Minister has been holding meetings of the entire Council of Ministers from time to time to discuss the key policy and governance issues. In fact, let's get you breaking updates of what's on the agenda in this meeting. Sources say that on the agenda today will be a blueprint for Vikshit Bharat 2047. The meeting is scheduled to continue all day. Top sources have revealed two times now that every minister will be present with a detailed presentation before the Prime Minister on two aspects. One, the roadmap for the first 100 days in Modi 3.0 and the other, a long-term plan for the next five years and how it will pivot the agenda for making India a developed nation by 2047. My colleague Pragya is joining us with the details of what's on the agenda for this meeting. Pragya, this is the last meeting of Modi 2.0 Council that's currently underway. What's on the agenda, the blueprint of not just the next five years, but also up until 2047 to be decided? Well, Pratibha, that shows the vision of the government of the day as well. Uh, the Prime Minister's Modi, Narendra Modi's team is here inside, along with the secretaries, CDS, and also Mr. Somnath, who is the chief of ISRO, all have been present here. This shows that Prime Minister is a really confident of the that he would be getting, uh, uh, because Prime Minister has been saying that third term is almost for sure that we will get it. And this is why we need to prepare for Vixit Bharat, which is Vixit Bharat plan for 2047. It is the hundredth year India will be uh, for the Indian independence so Prime Minister has the vision of be from taking a country from being developing country to a developed nation for that everything needs to be spot on and Prime Minister will take the presentations from all the secretaries all the ministries will be giving this presentation on their vision of 2047 and also how to reach there secondly they'll also be giving their presentation on 100 days uh, of the next Modi government term if that uh, happens as Prime Minister always claim that he is coming back there would be a third term for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So all that has been uh, will be done here. We have seen all the ministers coming here. This is Prime Minister's team uh, and a few of them would uh, be coming back also. Many of them in fact would be elected. They have been given tickets as well. But Prime Minister is uh, focusing on the development here. Elections are a separate matter. He is round the clock working for that as well. But he is also working for the next term vision plan as well. As soon as the government, uh, Prime Minister also believes that as soon as the there is government in place for the next term. He will be presenting and wheeling this 100-day plan on what these ministries should do. What are the aspirations of the people? Economic stability, upliftment of the marginalized people. Then there is environment concerns. All of them have been included in these presentations. Every minister will be giving a you know, a, a review of also what they have did, uh, did under the Vixit Bharat schemes, all the events that have been undertaken, who are the participants, how many participants have been included, fresh participants and all the government scheme programs that have been given to them. What did they do? How much is the impact? How much it has percolated down to the people? So all of that is going to be discussed here along with uh, the plan, the blueprint for the country to be taken from developing nation to the developed nation point. So this is the focus because Prime Minister has always maintained that this is the time of the country when they there comes a time in a history of a country where they need to see where they want to take this country. And as Prime Minister always say that yahi samay hai, sahi samay hai. this is exactly what is going to be echoed in the min, uh, in the uh, in the Council of Ministers meeting as well. Okay, all right. And Pragya, uh, all the ministers have been asked to be in attendance, but very interestingly, the ISRO chief as well as the CDS are also in attendance in this meeting. So what's expected on that front? Well, when we speak about Vixit Bharat, it also, uh, you know, has a, p a component of defense as well as uh, where you technology can take the country. We have seen, we have gone to Chandrayaan, uh, we have satellites in place, what more we can do because this is all associated with the use of technology to make the lives of people better, to have an advancement on various uh, uh, steps, be it health or any other sector. So 
all of that because they are also very inclusive part of the government policies as well this is a very crucial uh, uh, meeting uh, in uh, that aspect as well and that is why probably both of them have been invited they will be told about the vision of the bharat they should be there they should know when the policies are being uh, formed uh, that they should keep whatever the discussions happen here they should keep that in mind and this is probably why they have been invited here okay all right so very very crucial meeting comes ahead of of course a model code of conduct that will come into place in a few days from now but pragya this is a meeting that the prime minister has taken previously as well in fact time to time the prime minister ensures that he holds a meeting with the ministers to lay out the road map for the next 5 years as well in fact there's a first reaction also coming in from the congress party as the prime minister has chaired this meeting of the modi 2.0 council ahead of the lok sabha elections the congress leader pawan khera is hitting out at the government saying that the next people are fed up of this government and the india alliance is set to form the government in 2024 listen in to this reaction well if it's the last cabinet meeting well good riddance to whatever the country went through in the last 5 years and we are looking forward to a new government of india alliance which will redeem this country of whatever has gone wrong in the last 10 years so pragya interesting reaction coming in from the congress party pavan khera saying that people are fed up of this government and uh, the india alliance is going to form the government uh, but clearly the prime minister has set a target of 400 par and plans are already in place for the third term Well if you remember prime minister to his cabinet ministers had already told uh, in a previous meeting that whatever the opposition says that would be diversionary tactic don't fall into that trap and do not believe what they say just focus on development and also the schemes of the government this is exactly what you need to do till the elections are over you need to go to the voters you need to tell what the modi government had done in past 10 years this is a long list of achievements and people will believe because they are the one who are beneficiary of it they are seeing the change that country is going under and they have seen the stature of country uh, wh what how prime minister modi has taken from uh, 2014 to 20 uh, 24 now so all of that have been told by prime minister to the cabinet ministers as well as to the party leaders during pa uh, parliamentary party meeting as well uh, this is going to be uh, i think that is the counter of what mr khera is right now saying and uh, you know bjp is always saying that we have already done our pre uh, preparations for the uh, pl uh, p uh, elections and also if congress is so sure why is that the, wherever rahul gandhi is going wherever rahul gandhi's bharat na yatra is going their allies in india alliance are leaving them or they having problem there if they can't uh, even decide for the seats they are contesting and they can't decide on the alliance okay. how can they uh, you know be very serious about contesting election against a formidable Absolutely. opposition like bjp so all of that in place but if you look at the prime minister Uh, you know focus hmm. is that everyone should go to the beneficiary you should have some mailings okay. you should reach out to them you should have pun and if you look and at that that, that is reflected in, the in fact the bjp has also released the first list as